Hey, what's up, Divine Ones? Y'all come on in, come on in, come on in. Welcome to another episode of the Divine Destiny with Latoya podcast. Welcome to another video. I'm so excited to be on with y'all today. Come on in, come on in. As you come in, don't forget on YouTube to put your locations in the comments so I can see where y'all are tuning in from. Where are you watching from, baby? Because God say we got divine ones from all over the world, baby. Who is my family? My family is those that do my father's will. So please take a quick moment and put your locations in the comments. I love to see where y'all tuning in from. Love to see where you watching from. Make sure you like this video. Make sure you share it with another divine one and make sure you are subscribed and your notifications are set to all. Why is that important? Because I don't want you to miss not one thing that God has for you in this season. I want you to get everything that is entitled, that is due to you. Okay. I love you so much. Thank you for rocking with me. Thank you for taking this journey of transformation with me. I appreciate you so, so much. All of you that like the videos, that share the videos, that pass the message on, I appreciate you so much, baby, because you are helping to spread the kingdom message to all nations. Glory to God. So come on in. Come on in. Those of you that are new to me, I am Latoya Okia. I am a master coach, a spiritual leader, and a business mentor. I train and certify life coaches. And I also create transformational leaders for the kingdom of God. So if you know and you believe that this is the season, baby, for you to rise up and for you to become the leader that you were divinely created to be by using your gifts, by getting your transformation, by by getting to your next level, by ascending in the kingdom. I want you to put it in the comments right now. Say, I am a leader. I am a leader. That's right, baby. God did not call me to speak to followers, but I came to speak to some leaders. So put that thing in the comments, baby. Write it down in your journal with your blue ink pen. I am a leader. And drop them eagle emojis, okay? <laughs> drop them eagle emojis down there in the comments too, baby. Glory be to God. I came to speak to some leaders on this thing. So real quick, I'm going to give y'all three tips. Three tips. And this is for male or female that you can apply. Three tips, three pointers to help you glow up and get your transformation, to help you ascend, to help you get to your next level, get from point A to point B in your life. I want you to take these three tips today and apply them to your life and you are going to see overflow. You are going to see transformation. You're going to see glow up, baby, on another level. So let's get right on into it. Number one, what is tip number one? Make a conscious decision to want more. Make a conscious decision to want more. Make a conscious decision to say, you know what? I am sick and tired of being on this current level that I am on. I have maxed out at this level. This level has given me everything that it has to offer me. I have been this version of myself for long enough. And you know what? I am making a decision right now to want more, to do more, to have more, to be more, to accomplish more. Come on now. It starts with a decision. It all starts with you making up your mind and making a decision to say, I'm going all the way. And as human beings, God has given us the power because we were made in his image and we were made in his likeness. We are the only creation that can do this. He has given us the power to reinvent ourselves. He has given us the power to transform our life by transforming our mind. The Bible says in Romans 12 and 2, be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of the mind so that you may prove what is that good and that acceptable and that perfect will of God. We have the power through Christ Jesus to be born again, to reinvent ourselves, to change our identity and to walk in our identity in the kingdom. But you have to make a conscious, determined decision. You have to be very intentional and you have to say, I have had it. I am sick and tired of being sick and tired. 
and I am about to make a commitment. I am committing today. You know what? I want you to make this day that you're listening to this episode, make this day one. This is day one for you, that you're making a commitment, that you're making a decision, that you're saying no more being broke, busted, and disgusted, no more sleeping on myself, no more sleeping on my potential. I'm making a decision right here and right now that I am going to have more, that I am going to become more, that I am going to learn more, that I am going to believe more. Make a decision right now that you're going to do more, that you're going to be more, that more shall be your portion, that bigger shall be your portion, that greater shall be your portion. You can make that decision right here, right now. And that is step one. Okay. So what's step two? Step two is you have to start investing in self-development. Invest in self-development. I want y'all to put that in the comments. You have to start reading books. Yes, baby, you got to read. It's the reason why they told us reading is fundamental. <laughs> you got to read. And if you're not that type of person where you're a reader, then you got to listen to some audio books. By any way that you can, you got to get new knowledge inside of your brain. You have to introduce your brain. You have to introduce yourself to a new way of life by getting new knowledge. So you have to invest in self-development. You have to read books, okay? You have to listen to podcasts, which is what you're doing right here, right now. <laughs> so you already on to the right track. So you have to listen to podcasts, attend trainings regularly, attend seminars, workshops, conferences, Many of you, you might be just like how I was. I didn't know nothing about no seminar back in the day. I ain't know nothing about no master class, no training, no podcast, none of that stuff. But God is doing a new thing. I want you to put that in the comments, baby. Say God is doing a new thing. God is doing a new thing in your life. So this is the time and this is the season for you to start giving your mind new images, new information. This is how you're going to break the cycle. This is how you're going to break the curse of walking in them same old patterns, them same old toxic patterns, that same old negativity, that same old toxicity. This is how you're going to free yourself from living in the past, from, from walking around in the wilderness with them same old memories. You got to create new memories. You got to create new experiences. And you do that by getting new knowledge, by putting yourself in new environments. This is very, very important. Look, I'm in my master class. I'm in my master class spirit right now. I got the teacher vibe on me, got the teacher spirit. I've been creating uh, videos for my courses and stuff. And then I just roll right on into this episode. So I still got the, I still got the, the teacher vibe on me, the master coach spirit on me, baby, where I feel the anointing to teach. So that's what y'all getting from me in this video, in this episode, you're getting the teacher side of me. So I just heard the bell go off. Class in session. Get your journal. Get your blue ink pen. OK, because I'm giving you the three steps that you need to take right now, starting today to glow up, to get transformation. Again, this is for men and women because men glowing up too. this is a movement for kingdom men as well as kingdom women. It's the time to become your best self the best version of yourself. It's time to maximize your potential. It's time to be everything that God has called you to be. Okay. You have been at the bike of the line for long enough. This is the season where the tables are shifting. Tables are turning for you. So you got to get this knowledge. You got to get this insight and start applying it to your life. Okay. So I want to hear more about y'all reading books. I want to hear more about you attending trainings, attending classes. Come on now. So you got to start learning, learning new things, developing new skill sets, putting yourself in different rooms, start exposing your mind to new things, new people, new experiences. Stop going around doing the same old thing, but do something that you wouldn't normally do. Put yourself in an environment that you wouldn't normally be in. And what's going to happen is an opportunity that wouldn't normally pass you by an opportunity that you would normally not have known anything about, it will come to you because you were obedient and you were willing to step outside the box. You were willing to get out of your comfort zone. Okay. So that is step two, invest in self-development, get new knowledge. All right. Step three, three steps, three tips, three things you can do right now to glow up, get transformation and get to your next level. Last step, let's get into it. Eliminate distractions. Eliminate distractions. Okay. 
put that phone on do not disturb uh uh tell them folks i'll call you next week i'll call you tomorrow be it listen it's time to get tunnel vision it's time to get focused it's time to not be afraid to hurt some some people's feelings. Stop being afraid to tell some people no. Stop being afraid to set some boundaries because a lot of this is what's holding you back from your transformation. Because you tap dancing for everybody else, you don't have time to do nothing for yourself. You got to start eliminating the distractions. Now, that could be family. That could be friends. That could be old friends. That could be anybody or anything that is keeping you away or, or pulling you away from actively working towards your goals. You set goals. You want to have people around you that support you in those goals. Iron sharpens iron. This is a biblical principle. You need people around you that motivate you, that inspire you, that energize you, that, that motivate you to be your best self. They, they are excited about your growth. They are excited about your transformation. They support you. If not, then move around. Move around. Come on now, because you either going to start growing with me or I'm going to outgrow you and I'm going to leave you. So you, you, if you ain't growing, you ain't moving forward, move around. Come on now, somebody put that in the comments. Say move forward or move around. <laughs> but don't you hold yourself up. Don't you hold up what God got for you because you're being loyal to somebody that is, is being loyal to complacency. Don't Put your loyalty into somebody that has committed to being complacent. They, they are committed to staying stuck because when you join yourself to that, you're going to become an average of those people that you're spending the most time around. So you want to make sure you're linking up with people that are going places that you want to go. They live in the life that you want to live. And that's a Christ life. They live in the Christ life that you want to live. OK, they have transformation in their life. They have fruit in their life. And when you look at them, they motivate you and they inspire you to be better. Time out for being around people that remind you of your past, that remind you of where you came from. OK, and this is just the truth of the matter. You outgrow people. That's OK. That's part of the growth. That's part of the transformation. That's part of the journey. You got to keep going. Come on now, because other lives are tied to your transformation. Other lives are tied to your obedience. So that was step number three. Eliminate the distractions. What is it that is hindering your transformation? What is it that every time you get serious about reaching your goals, starting your business, working on your body, come on now, um, um, start showing up more in your marriage with your husband, with your wife, doing things with your kids, whatever it is. Whenever you get serious about being better, showing up better in life, what is it that always hinders that? What is it that always tries to prevent that? And if it's something that you can't eliminate, like a husband or a wife or a child, then you got to have a sit down and you got to do what we call a come to Jesus meeting. We got to have a come to Jesus meeting. And you have to communicate to them in love and with emotional intelligence and let them know that you are serious about your transformation and that you love them. You, you express this in love, but you let them know that you got to move forward with me. I am not going to let nothing separate me from the love of Christ, from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus. Make up in your mind. I'm not going to let nothing hinder me from my transformation. So you communicate with that person. This is this is for whoever you can't eliminate. It's just absolutely impossible for you to eliminate them. You just got to have a real conversation with them. And what's got to happen is you got to start being serious and you got to start moving differently. Because when they see that you are serious and this ain't just some new thing or some new wave that you own now, or you just high off of your emotions, when they see that this is who you really are and you really serious, they'll get on board. They'll get on board because that's how it happened with my children. When they saw that, oh, this ain't just something mama just playing around with, but this is who mama really is. Like mama mean business. They started getting in line. They started getting in line. And that's what God will do. God going to start lining that stuff up to make sure that the path is straight for you to walk forward and do what he has called you to do. But you have to do your part. OK, so three steps. Those were the three steps. Three tips, little strategy I, I wanted to drop on y'all, okay? Three tips, three three steps that you can take right now to glow up, to get transformation, to move from point A to point B in your life. What is hindering you? What is holding you back? 
eliminate the distractions. That was step three. Step two was investing in self-development. And the first step that I gave y'all was making a decision. You have to make a conscious decision to say, I am going to change my life. I am sick and tired of being sick and tired. I have maxed out on this level. This level has given me everything that it has to offer me. I can no longer be this version of myself. It is time for me to become somebody new. It is time for me to get into new environments, have new experiences, meet new people. But you have to make a conscious decision that you're going to do that and that you're not just going to be interested in transformation, but you're going to be committed. You're going to make a committed decision to go all the way this time. OK, so I love y'all so much. I am Latoya Okia. I'm going to put the links below in the description for y'all to join our group coaching membership. Come on in. Come on in. Let me tell you, baby, this group coaching membership that I have created, you can sign up by clicking the link below in the description. Go to LatoyaOkeaAcademy.com to get the to, to uh, sign up for it, to get your transformation. It is uh, our group coaching membership. That's $47 a month. It's only $47 a month. You can cancel at any time. But I'm telling you, baby, for the value that you get in return for that, you're going to get the support that you need to help you grow spiritually, to get your transformation. You're going to be connected to a family of other chosen ones where we uplift one another in now. We support one another. We encourage one another. You have me as your coach. I'm holding your hand throughout your transformation. We do trainings in there, live trainings, pop-up classes. You get access to monthly success calls, monthly group coaching sessions. It is everything that I wish I had when I first started in my transformation. Because when I started, it was just me and God. I ain't have nobody. I didn't have no community. I didn't have I didn't know anything about other chosen ones. So I said, I want to create an environment to where the person that has just gotten started on transformation, they can come in, they can plug into a system. You can come in, you can plug into a system where you meet other people instantly that are just like you, men and women. It is a co-ed environment with men and women. And you have me as your leader, as your coach. You have access to exclusive videos that are not available on social media. It, uh, access to trainings that are not available on social media is everything you need to help you grow spiritually. OK, uh, we, we discuss different topics in there. We talk about uh, raising children. We talk about dealing with family members. We talk about uh, things that you're going to face in this spiritual walk. We talk about uh, not being accepted by the people that you love the most, how to deal with not getting support from family members. We talk about all the things that you're going to face on this walk as you ascend and as you go throughout this spiritual transformation. We discuss it. I give you pointers. I give you tips. I give you strategies. It's setting you up for success, baby. OK, so I want you to join. I really want you to join. And I'm going to talk about it. I'm going to keep on talking about it because God say many of you, you got to be in there. You got to get in there. This is the answer to the prayer that you've been praying to God. God is answering it through this membership. Sow the seed and come on in. OK, I love you all so much. And I'll check in with you all later.